for book one, proposition number 36 of Euclid's Elements, parallelograms which are on equal bases and in the same parallels are equal to one another. So basically, if we have these two parallelograms, A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H, and they share equal bases, this base B, C is equal to the base F, G, and they end on the same line AH that's parallel to the lines BC and FG, then what we can prove is that these two parallelograms are equal to each other. And to start this, what we first want to do is construct lines between the points B and E and C and H, which we can do due to postulate number one. So we just constructed the line EB and CH. And then from here, we want to use book one, proposition number 34, which basically says that in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal to each other. So notice that in this parallelogram here, this side FG is opposite to the side EH. So we can conclude that those are equal to each other. So FG equals the side EH. And since BC is also equal to FG, then due to common notion number one, BC must also be equal to EH. So BC equals EH. From here, Let's take a look at this four-sided shape EBCH. Since we know that EH and BC are equal and they're also parallel to each other, we know due to book one, proposition number 33, that this shape, this four-sided shape, would be a parallelogram. So let's write that, that EBCH is a parallelogram. And now that we know that EBCH is a parallelogram, and we also know that it shares the same base as the parallelogram ABCD, and they both end on the same parallel, we know due to book one, proposition number 35, that these two parallelograms are equal to each other. So we can write that ABCD is equal to the parallelogram E, B, C, H. And with the same logic, we can show that E, B, C, H, the parallelogram, is equal to the parallelogram E, F, G, H, since they share the same base, E, H, and N on the same parallel line, B, G. So in other words, due to this book one proposition number 35, we know that the parallelogram E, B, C, H, is equal to the parallelogram E, F, G, H. So E, F, G, H. And then due to common notion number one, two things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. So since both A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H equal this E, B, C, H, they must be equal to each other. So parallelogram A, B, C, D is equal to parallelogram E, F, G, H, which is exactly what we were trying to prove. So we can end with Q, E, D.